Hi, I'm Dr. Brant Larson. Welcome to the video. We're talking about the functions of zinc. Now, I've got 11 functions of zinc for you. Zinc is a very, very essential mineral. It's very commonly deficient when I'm testing my patients. Um, it's, just, it's just an important mineral. So let's dive into it. Number one, necessary to make hydrochloric acid, or HCl. Now, this is what your stomach makes. I've got videos on this. No, the vast, vast, vast majority of the time, you are not making too much hydrochloric acid. Most people are making too little. It's a whole different video. Your parietal cells of the stomach need zinc to make hydrochloric acid. So you need zinc to make the acid to help you digest better, to help you absorb the zinc. Okay, you see how that goes round and round. So you could be having digestive issues and not absorb zinc how you should. Or you could have not enough zinc to not make enough hydrochloric acid to help this whole process. It goes round and round and round. Uh, number two, critical for healthy uh, GI cells in general. So even other GI cells such as the small intestine, large intestine and whatnot. Three, it speeds wound healing. So if your skin isn't healing, if you cut yourself or something, uh, zinc is very, very essential for the skin. Necessary for healthy cell membranes. Now the cell membrane, this is every single cell we're talking about here. Every cell, it doesn't matter if it's brain cell, liver cell, skin cell, muscle cell, kidney cell. Every cell has an outside of it, and that's called the cell membrane. That is where all the magic happens. That is where all the communication happens. That is the brain of the cell. So think like brain here, just spell it differently, B-R-A-I-N. That is the brain of the cell. So zinc is important to create healthy cell membranes. Number five, necessary for essential fatty acid metabolism. Now, essential means that you have to have it in your diet. You, your body can't make this particular type of fat. Think omega-3s here. Um, fatty acid metabolism is critical for the body. You have to be able to process or metabolize fats correctly, whether it's for the brain health, um, cell membrane, everything in your body runs off of good quality fats. Six, necessary for healthy skin and hair. Again, it goes back to that wound healing as well. If you want healthy skin and hair, you have to have your zinc status up in the right range. Seven, important mineral for women during pregnancy, like most minerals are, but zinc is very, very critical. Number eight, crucial component for over 200 enzyme systems. Now, enzymes catalyze reactions in the body. They make things work, but enzymes don't work by themselves. They have cofactors. They have uh, components to them such as zinc or magnesium or calcium or something else. Number nine, white blood cell he uh, health and immune support. So zinc is very, very essential for the immune system. You have a low zinc status, you catch colds, you have other you know, flus and different things happen because your zinc is too low and you're not supporting the immune system how you should. Number 10, important to senses of taste and smell. So taste and smell here, I mean, if you're just not tasting it, that food as well as you should, and you don't smell things, those two go hand in hand, right? If you don't smell things very well, typically you won't taste things very well, but think zinc as well. And number 11, essential to DNA and RNA. So even going past that cell membrane, getting down deep into the nucleus of the cell where your DNA, your RNA, think your genetics here. So if you have a low zinc status, which the vast majority of people do that I find, um, you're having trouble at this level as well, genetic-wise. More information, drlarson.com is my website, and I'll see you again on the next video.